it's actually a tremendous pleasure for me to to, to combine uh, a recollection of Julian and Preparato, who was a, was a very good friend of mine and, and one of the men who have um, changed my life in a positive way, I should say. And Irv Dardick, who was another of the men, more recently has changed my life also in a positive way. Giuliano died in uh, April of 2000, and his good friend Emilio Del Guidice wrote a very good, very touching memorial to him in 21st Century Science and Technology. Emilio described Giuliano as a man in dialogue with nature, and it, it, I can't think of a better description for, for Irv than a man in dialogue with nature. And Giuliano sought out unusual facts. And in unusual facts, he said that nature is trying to tell us something. He never let one go. He's looking for the deeper inner secrets of nature and the unusual facts. And certainly, this field that has brought us all together is, is an unusual fact. And it wasn't clear to us all at the beginning that it was a fact, but it is a fact. And it's an unusual one. It's teaching us something very deep about nature. Juliano never let, never allowed a hint from nature to pass by unnoticed. From Giuliano Preparato and also from my, my good friend Peter Hagelstein, I came to understand the principle and power of coherence. The idea that billions in the, in the Palladian deuterium system, at least, that billions of electrons and deuterons by tuning their oscillations create an environment capable of condensed phase nuclear reaction. This was an entirely new idea to me, one of the, one of the changes. Giuliano asked, what hides at the heart of nature? I came to know El Dardic in ICCF uh, 10. In ICCF 11, he, does, he wrote a, a paper at Marseille called Superwave Reality, in which uh, Bob stated all existence is waves, and that this single understanding generates the entire natural universe of motion and order. This is something Giuliano, I think, would have understood and could have contributed to. When we first met Irv, I should confess that I was more than usually skeptical. He was a medical doctor, which, as we know, some have contributed, but we don't expect medical doctors to be contributing in the world of physical science or, or physics. On the one hand, the energetics group had results, but an experimentalist results count quite heavily. The energetics group had created and produced results at ICCF 10 in a relatively short period of time, perhaps two years, that were the equal of or, or superior to the results of uh, any other reports at that conference, and certainly anything that we were doing at SRI at that time. On the other hand, I was doing what Martin Fleischmann and Stan Pons had done to the hot fusion physicists. He was trying to teach me in an area of my expertise. This is something that we are reluctant to accept. It took me a while to understand, but just by the very nature of the, the facts, the observations, the excess heat results, the loading results, I accepted the power of the superwave method of loading and excess heat production, and also became aware of the power of the superwave method in controlling the stirring of liquid metals in metallurgy. As experimental and pragmatic observations, if it works, I was certainly prepared to do it. Now the International Society of Condensed Matter Nuclear Sciences recognized the contributions of Dardic, Dr. Dardic in energetics for the superwave method and the results that have been obtained by uh, the energetics group. And the condensed matter nuclear science community is recognizing this with the Giuliano 
Preparata method, which when I stop speaking, I'll get to. But I think we need further recognition. Further recognition is deserved. As I have come to understand more clearly the bigger picture, the idea that Irv is communicating, and this is this is hard fought understanding. It's taken hundreds of hours of conversation and in, in much discussion and argument and debate. The notion that everything is a wave and that waves can only wave. It's a wave universe is aesthetically appealing, at least to me it's aesthetic, it's, it's aesthetically appealing, but I also believe that this idea is correct and that it is of fundamental importance. With that, I would like to invite Irv up here to receive his uh, medal and to make a short acceptance speech. <laughs> 